Hello and welcome to this short introduction video of the HMS SimpliCam. On the website simplicam.info you can find all the information and downloads mentioned in this video. There are three download packages, two for Linux, one for Windows. Shown here is the content of the Windows package, including the bus monitor, which we will we'll use later on in our demo setup, the documentation folder, the driver, which is only needed for Windows 7, a flash tool, if you ever need to update your Simply Can, and the code samples for all supported code languages. Here we see the unboxing. The link to the website containing more information can be found on the backside of the box as well. As you can see, the contents of delivery only include the actual device, no additional driver disks, etc. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using two Simply Can, one for the bus monitor application and one for the demo application. You can use the system control panel for finding out which COM port is being used by your device. Here you can see the actual COM port number. If you want to change the COM port number, go to the Properties menu and select Change Settings. Solutions and example codes for these languages are included in the download package and support either free toolchains or standard IDEs like Visual Studio. If you need additional information on how to set up Visual Studio code, please see the link. For this demonstration, we will be using the C sample code. This is where we have to adapt the COM port settings of our sample application to the COM port currently used by our device. Shown here are the simple and easy to use API functions which are needed to start a communication utilizing the Simply Can. And with just a few lines of codes, we generate the CAN message, which will later on be transmitted. So, let's start the communication. The left side shows the example application from the download. The right side of the screen shows the included bus monitor software running on the second Simply CAN. The demo application cyclically sends the configured CAN message, which in turn is received by the Simply CAN using the bus monitor. Also, we can transmit data in the other direction by using the bus monitor, which in turn is then received by our application. That's it for all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Would be appreciated.